Hi everybody, it's Tiffany with Pronto Body Shop and we're here for the December edition of the Taco Report. And I'm super excited, we're here at Alamo Draft House and you know as Pronto Body Shop we don't just fix cars if they've been in an accident, we also get together with local celebrities and other businesses and eat tacos and hang out and I'm super excited today to have Omar with El Paso Locomotives here. Tell me your last name because I'll totally butcher it. <laughs> Salgado. Okay, so super excited to have Omar here, and Alamo has hooked us up with tacos. So, Omar, when's your opening season? We start in March. Um, Preseason January, you know, I think it'll be a, a fun time. Everyone should come out and support us, and you know, hopefully we can uh, bring the championship to this great city. That's awesome. I, I will tell you, I was a little disappointed. So, Valerie, my right hand, set this up, and I thought this was going to be a blind date. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> It's not. I mean, I am taken, but I still could have gone on a date, right? <laughs> no? Hey, wait, of how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, so I would have been a cougar. I would have been sort of sad. So, <laughs> I mean, so maybe next time we can go on a date, okay? Sounds good. Okay, Sounds okay. Like Y'all got that on video that we're going to go on a blind date next time. Javier, don't be jealous. <laughs> so we are going to try the three pack of the tacos here at Alamo Draft House today. And so I have the vegetarian option, which we call non-murder and Omar has the regular traditional option and so we have ribeye tacos and then we have Korean tacos and chicken and chorizo tacos so which one do you want to try first because um, they all look really good let's go with the ribeye okay and mine have substitute for cauliflower so mine's this first one let's let's give it a try because it looks pretty darn delicious Sort of spicy. Is it spicy? Mine's not very really spicy. It's pretty good. I really like it. Mine has like cheese and cilantro on it. And then we have the queso over here. It all looks really good. If you didn't know, they make their salsa fresh every morning. It's fabulous. Have you tried their salsa? I, I know not. Alamo is from Austin, <laughs> so their salsa is a little different. It's not like El Paso salsa, but I still really love it. Tried it. Uh, try not. it. He needs to try it. I might like, try it now, Omar. Right, like, don't Which be shy. One? Which one do I this one. All right. And then this is the loaded queso, but I like their regular salsa. It's pretty really good. good. So, do you eat stuff like this on a regular basis, or are you like really like strict on your diet because you're training and stuff? Um, I try not to eat as many tacos as, <laughs> as we have here, but I like them. They're really good. So, that's a little sad. I know I tried <laughs> to give him alcohol and he doesn't drink alcohol either. So he's obviously a good boy. <laughs> he didn't want to go on a blind date with me either. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with him. I will have alcohol for you, Omar. <laughs> he's just having iced tea. Okay, let's try the next taco. It was our Korean taco. Mine, wait. Mine's this one. That, that's your Korean yeah. taco? Okay, I guess mine's with the, the slaw on it. Right. It looks delicious. So mine has like cabbage slaw and Korean spice. Let's see. Mmm. That one's fabulous. That one's very good. I really like the sauce. It ha yeah, like the sauce is like the spicy, like fire and ice sauce. It's delicious. Okay. Very I'm not going to lie, I come and eat this one a lot. This is my <laughs> favorite. So you've been here before. Uh, dude, we're here the second Thursday of every month for Cocktails of Friends. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know, we also like to have drinks with business owners. So we're not That's your awesome. typical body shop. Yes, we repair cars, but we do a lot of random stuff. <laughs> what makes it fun, right? I agree. I mean, I love this one. I'm going to try our queso. Which so one you right have the loaded queso. Okay. It has like murder, which is chorizo in it, <laughs> and avocado and everything. Right. Right. Mine just has like multiple cheese and cilantro. I mean, it's delicious also, but look at me. I like most food, so I don't have room to talk. That's very good. <laughs> very good. He likes it, and he's, look at him. So <laughs> it's obviously good. Let me try this one. So what did you say this was? This is just the plain queso All with right. cilantro and stuff. So Omar, tell us a little bit about you. Are you from El Paso originally? Yes, I know I caught you with your mouth full, but that's just how we roll here at the Taco <laughs> Report. Mm. I was born and raised in El Paso. Um, I left when I was 15, 
I've lived in Guadalajara, I played for Chivas, and then I was drafted by Vancouver. Um, I was there four years, and then I was sold to Mexico, to a team in Monterrey. Wait, Tigres. sold? Like, are you, do we need to rescue you? That's the saying in sports. Okay. You, know, you, I, bought, I, you get sold. I know you get nothing traded. about sports, except obviously the players are good looking, and I want to go on <laughs> them. So, okay, so sold. So you got traded. I got sold trade. Well, it was more, it's only traded if it's in the same city, or oh, I mean, okay. in the same country. Um, so it was sold. And then I was there for three and a half years and then signed here in El Paso. Are you excited to be back? I am very excited. Do you have family here? I do. Um, my, my whole family's here. So, so you awesome. have support. I do. So they're all going to come out and support you at the soccer game. They are, for sure. I know. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to come out and support because I know nothing about soccer, but I do know that the scoring is easier because it's just like one, two, three, four. Not like all the football scoring and baseball scoring. I have no idea on that. So I feel like this could be my sport. Like I could figure this out. So I think you'll like it. You'll I, I, it. I'm excited. It's fast paced. It is very fast paced. And I feel like the fans have a lot of energy when they come out. They like come out dressed up and they're super passionate about it. I, I think people here will be more energized than anywhere else. So I think it'll be real fun. I think so. Yeah. I mean, like, we love soccer yeah, here. Exactly. I mean, I had um, all my staff was actually in uh, Juarez this weekend. I guess there was a big soccer game in Juarez. Yeah, I, but I was, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, obviously he weekend. knows. So <laughs> I'm like, did, did Juarez have a soccer team? I had no they're, idea. They're, they're but doing very well this season. Will y'all play them? Um, we will not. not. Not in the same league. Maybe, you know, like a, a friendly game a or friendly something game? at one point. But uh, I don't know if anything's scheduled yet. How do you feel about your teammates? You think you got a good, strong team? I, I do. I, I think Mark, our, our head coach, is doing a great job. He's, uh, you know, we're halfway there, maybe a little bit less than halfway, but we're building a pretty strong team. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, let's try our last taco. So it's going right. to be the chicken and chorizo taco. It has queso and lettuce and pico de gallo on it, and I love pico de gallo, so I'm sure I'm going to love this taco. I've actually never had this one. So. It may be my favorite one yet. I mean, I do love pico de gallo, so how do you feel about it? Good? I like the other two better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they are steak, I know, most mm -hmm. men are like chicken, chicken's for girls. I don't know. I feel like that's what most of the people in my shop are like. They're like, no, we have to have steak. I'm not eating chicken. I'm like, why do we even have to have meat? I mean, we can have cauliflower. I mean, we have a competitive athletes that are vegan, so, right? No? Nope. You know, would you ever go vegan? Um, I tried, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, you say you like murder a lot more. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so out of the two meat ones with the steak, which was your favorite, the ribeye or the, the Korean? Korean taco, for sure. That was very good. Yeah, I, the sauce on it is fabulous. So, yes. awesome. Well, anything else you want to tell us about the locomotives? I mean, are you? Am, do, do I get to free tickets for the season? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, they're shaking their head in the back. Now. <laughs> That's a little sad. We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this was the Taco Report, the December edition with Pronto Body Shop. Make sure you follow us, our YouTube channel is Pronto Body Shop, and check out the locomotives, and their website is, I don't know, do you know the website name? I think it's just El Paso Locomotives. Look them up, check out their schedule, they're coming up in March, and so we're super excited, and make sure you catch us in January for the January edition of Taco Report, because you never know who's going to be on the Taco Report or where we're going to be at.